Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We've got quite a setup through 1212 with three different storm systems lined up. The first one, Hammer, California. This is live camera at Mammoth. They're reporting a 20 inch storm total and a temperature of 24 degrees right now. Awesome to see that this hit the Sierra. I was forecasting like uh, 15 to 20, something like that. Um, now this storm will spread waves of snow through Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado. Here were some of my bullet points. Um, so I've actually had to shave some of the totals down. This is the second day in a row I had to shave them down for the Wasatch, the Tetons. Some of the numbers in Colorado have gone up, and I've got some really heavy pockets of snow in Colorado for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday coming up. Um, so big totals possible in Colorado with this thing. Let me show you what the um, let me just show you what the uh, the infrared satellite looks like right now. Well, it's visible, turning infrared. Three different storm systems lined up into the North Pacific. There comes the storm that hit uh, California. It's dropping all the way south. That'll eventually move into the interior. I'll show you the flow on the jet coming up in a second. Storm two and three behind that. Um, you know, yesterday I thought that down the road the pattern might shift after the 8th with the storms heading further and further north. That may not necessarily be the case today with what I'm seeing. We might still see the storms hit between the Pacific Northwest and Northern California all the way through 1212, which would be um, really good for all those areas because then all that moisture gets blown into the interior states. Idaho, Banff, BC, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, Utah. So all three storms potentially will drop heavy, moderate to heavy snow through 1212. So that's infrared. Let me show you the flow. So this is the jet stream on 125. So tomorrow. Um, there's that low, it's, it's hanging back uh, in California, but it's, the jet's so powerful, it's taking the moisture and escorting it, like on a conveyor belt, up through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. So everything starts on Monday in the interior. So that's 12.5. Here's 12.8. And so the storm I was just talking about, now it's already moving out of Wyoming and Colorado. Storm number two is now dropping south through Washington and Oregon into Northern California. So you can see the type of storm track we're seeing by 12.8. Here's 12.12. High pressure building in from the south, but the, there's still a dip in the jet with Storm 3 coming in. That's going to nail the Pacific Northwest. Washington, Oregon, BC, uh, Idaho, Northern Idaho, Northwest Montana, maybe Banff, Southern, Southeast BC. So that becomes storm number three, and that's 12-12. So let's talk uh, imagery here as far as totals. So all of today through the 7th. Uh, another 3 to 8 in California in the Sierra as this low is pulling out. Now, I've shaved the numbers down considerably in the Wasatch. I had hoped a few days ago for 15 to 20. Now it's looking more like 5 to 8 in the Wasatch. Up in the Tetons, I was hoping for 15 to 20 a few days ago. Shaved them down, 7 to 10 now. Uh, the numbers are all pretty light up through Idaho, Montana, and Northwest. Um, in Colorado, there are going to be some heavy pockets. It's an interesting, it's not a Northwest flow. And that's what's odd about it. It's more of, it's a targeted jet flow with a very specific wind direction that favors specific locations. Wolf Creek, Purgatory. Red Mountain, Coal Bank, um, up towards Crested Butte. Um, a lot of that snow is going to fall in the southwest aspects of the Elk Range. Um, and then up around Steamboat and Vail and Cameron Pass. Vail Pass, this is going to be an amazing three-day stretch, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's my pick. If you want to ski somewhere, you ski Buff Pass, Vail Pass, Crested Butte, Gothic area, or you go down... Purgatory, Red Mountain. That's just through the 7th. Um, here is, and I'm going to do a snow plume run, my first one of the season for Vail coming up here. Here's Phase 2, 12-8, 12-12. This is with Storm 2 and 3. So Storm 2 and 3, these are combined totals. That's why they're so big for California, Washington, Oregon, because you're getting nailed by two, a combination of two storms. And I mean, we're talking feet of snow through this period. Um, great blow-off into Idaho. BC, uh, parts of Banff, uh, 
Tetons and the Wasatch get about a foot. In Colorado, uh, another 6 to 12 through that period. It's, no, it's not a direct hit, but what you're seeing in Colorado is just sort of the benef the benef being the beneficiary of two storms with the jet just sort of blowing precip into the interior. But that's going to be a good stretch through 12-12. This overall, from 12-4 to 12-12, is an outstanding stretch. Let me just show you my snow plume forecast um, all the way through 12-12. So storm one brings about a foot, maybe 14, 15 inches. Storm two and three bring, let me just take my uh, cam off so you can see it. Um, no, I can't, I can't take it off. Another, another foot. So we're talking two feet on Vail Pass by 12-12, two feet. This is gonna be a great stretch for powder skiing Vail Mountain, Vail Pass, that whole area is going to be outstanding um, with this type of float pattern. So enjoy it. Be very careful. Um, avalanche watches and warnings are already hoisted, so keep that in mind. Terrain selection will be critical. Thanks, guys, for tuning in here. Take care.